Welcome to the land of mysteries and myths, India, a country as diverse in its folklore as it is in its culture. Here, history intertwines with the paranormal, giving birth to tales that will send shivers down your spine. From the eerie silence of abandoned forts to the chilling whispers of haunted hotels, each place carries a story, a glimpse into the unseen. Today, we invite you on a spine-chilling journey, a tour through India's top 10 haunted hotspots. Are you ready to explore the unknown? If your heart is pounding with curiosity and a hint of fear, then you're in the right place. Let's begin. Do you believe in ghosts? This question has sparked fascination and fear in equal measure. Ghosts, spirits, the unseen. They've been subjects of countless tales, whispered around campfires and explored in depth by paranormal enthusiasts. If you do, then prepare yourself for a journey through India's most haunted places. At number 10 is GP Block Mirut Uttar Pradesh. This place, relatively unknown to the rest of the country, holds a haunting reputation among the locals. The GP Block is notorious for its paranormal activities, causing chill and terror to those who dare to venture into its vicinity after sundown. Tales of eerie sightings are not uncommon here. Locals have reported seeing apparitions, often described as a group of four men sitting together and enjoying an evening drink. Some have also reported seeing a young girl in red walking around the area in solitude, only to disappear into thin air when approached. The origin of these hauntings remains a mystery. Some believe that they are the spirits of those who met with a tragic end in the area, their souls tethered to the place, unable to find peace. The stories might vary, but they all share an underlying theme of tragic deaths and lingering spirits. Despite these chilling tales, the GP block continues to be a bustling area during the day. The buildings stand tall, hiding their eerie secrets behind the veil of normalcy. But as the sun sets and darkness engulfs the area, the haunting reality of GP block emerges, reminding everyone of the spectral inhabitants that call this place home. So if you're in Meerut, Tread carefully around GP Block, who knows? You might just have a paranormal encounter of your own. Coming in at number nine is the Bridge Raj Bhavan Palace in Kota Rajasthan. This grand heritage hotel is known for its regal charm, but it's also famous for a resident who has overstayed his welcome by over a century. We're talking about the ghost of Major Burton. Major Burton was a British official who met a tragic end during the Sepoy Mutiny of 1857, right within the palace walls. Since then, it's said that his spirit has never really left. Guests and staff alike have reported encounters with the Major, usually when they're not quite following the palace's rules. Imagine the scene. You're walking down the ornate hallways of the palace, perhaps a bit too loud or too late at night. When you feel a chill run down your spine, you might just dismiss it as the wind, but then you feel a stern gaze upon you. It's the Major reminding you to respect the palace's rules. These encounters are usually not harmful, but they're certainly unforgettable. The ghost of Major Burton doesn't seem to be a malevolent spirit, rather a strict disciplinarian still maintaining the order in his posthumous abode. So if you ever find yourself in the Bridge Raj Bhavan Palace, remember to tread lightly and respect the rules. After all, you wouldn't want to upset the Major. Remember to respect the rules if you ever find yourself in Bridge Raj Bhavan Palace. At number eight, we have the Savoy Hotel in Musuri, Uttarakhand. Now, this is not your average hotel. The Savoy Hotel is shrouded in mystery and intrigue, and it's all tied to one name, Lady Garnet Orme. In the early 20th century, Lady Orme was a British spiritualist who sought refuge in the tranquil hills of Missouri. However, her life was cut tragically short in 1911 when she was found dead under mysterious circumstances. The official cause? Cyanide poisoning. But who would want to harm such a gentle soul? The case went unsolved and the mystery surrounding her death only deepened. Fast forward to the present and whispers of Lady Orme's restless spirit continue to echo through the halls of the Savoy Hotel. Guests and staff alike have reported sightings of a spectral woman believed to be Lady Orme, wandering the corridors, aimlessly searching for something or perhaps someone. But it's not just sightings that have people on edge, it's the inexplicable activities that accompany them. Objects moving on their own, strange noises in the dead of night, it's enough to send shivers down anyone's spine. And so the Savoy Hotel remains a place of fascination for ghost hunters and paranormal enthusiasts. It's a chilling reminder that some mysteries are perhaps best left unsolved. 
Be ready to possibly meet Lady Orm if you check into the Savoy Hotel. Jatinga in Assam takes our number seven spot. This serene village nestled amidst lush green hills hides a chilling mystery that has puzzled and intrigued scientists and paranormal enthusiasts alike for decades. As the late monsoon season approaches, an eerie phenomenon unfolds. Birds in a seemingly inexplicable behavior plunge to their deaths, turning the peaceful village into a veritable avian graveyard. Locals steeped in folklore and tradition believe this to be the work of supernatural forces, attributing the mysterious bird deaths to unseen evil spirits haunting their land. Scientific theories have been proposed, ranging from disorientation caused by the monsoon fog to the strong winds of the valley, yet none have been able to fully explain the phenomenon. The haunting of Yatinga is unique, for it's not just the specter of human spirits that is said to loom over the village, but an inexplicable force that seems to hold sway over the very laws of nature. This, coupled with the tales of spectral apparitions and unsettling occurrences reported by the villagers, makes Yatinga a place shrouded in an enigmatic aura of mystery and fear. Yatinga, a place where nature and the paranormal seemingly intertwine, a place where the line between the living and the dead, the natural and the supernatural blurs, painting a haunting picture that lingers in the mind long after one leaves. Our number six spot goes to Bangar Fort in Rajasthan. This colossal fortress nestled amidst the Aravalli Range whispers tales of mystery and intrigue. The fort's history is steeped in a chilling legend that has been passed down through generations. At the heart of this tale is a wizard said to have been smitten with the fort's princess. In a desperate bid to win her heart, he cast a spell on a perfume meant for the princess. However, the princess saw through his plot and in a twist of fate, the potion was turned against the wizard. As he lay dying, he cursed the fort, dooming everyone within its walls to death without the chance of rebirth. Since then, Bangar Fort has stood as a symbol of this curse. In the stillness of the night, echoes of a forgotten past are said to reverberate through its stone corridors. Visitors have reported strange sounds, fleeting apparitions, and an inexplicable feeling of unease. The fort, once a place teeming with life, now lies abandoned, with only the whispers of its past to keep it company. Despite the eerie atmosphere, the fort draws curious souls from all over, eager to catch a glimpse of the supernatural. Some come for thrill, others for answers, but all leave with a story to tell. Banga Fort, a place where legend and reality blur. Duma Beach in Gujarat comes in at number five. It's not your typical sun-soaked, sandy paradise. This beach is famous for its unique black sand and an atmosphere that can only be described as eerie, but it's not just the unusual sand that raises eyebrows. Its history as a burial ground is what earns it a spot on our list. Many who have ventured onto Duma Beach have reported strange happenings. They speak of hearing whispers when no one else is around, whispers that seem to emanate from the sea itself or perhaps from beneath the black sands. Some even claim to have seen apparitions, spectral figures that appear and disappear with the ebb and flow of the waves. The local people have countless tales to tell. Stories of people disappearing mysteriously, of unexplainable sounds echoing in the night, of a feeling of being watched by unseen eyes. It's said that the spirits of those laid to rest here are not at peace, and they make their presence known to those who dare to visit. Whether these tales are fact or fable, one thing is certain. A visit to Duma Beach is not for the faint of heart. It's a place where the line between the living and the dead might just blur a little. A stroll on Duma Beach might hold more than just the sound of waves. Shaniwarwada Fort in Pune, Maharashtra takes the number four spot. Unfolding from the pages of history is a tale of ambition, betrayal, and a haunting that resonates to this day. Shaniwarwada Fort, once the seat of the mighty Peshwas, is today a silent witness to a tragic past. The fort is known for the heart-wrenching story of a young prince, Narayan Rao. His uncle, Raghunathrao, desperate for power, plotted his death. The prince's cries for help, Kaka Malavachva, which means uncle, save me in Marathi, echoed through the walls of the fort as he was brutally murdered by hired assassins. Today, visitors to the fort often report an eerie aura that pervades the ancient stone corridors. Some claim to have heard faint cries, mirroring the prince's desperate pleas for help. Others recount witnessing inexplicable phenomena, from fleeting shadows to sudden changes in temperature. It's not just the chilling stories that draw people to Shaniwarwada Fort. 
The fort itself, with its grand doorways, imposing fortifications and intricate carvings, is a testament to the architectural prowess of the Peshwas. The fort's five gates, each with its own story, still stand tall, embodying the regal legacy of a time gone by. The Shaniwarwada fort, a symbol of power and pride, is today a chilling reminder of a young prince's untimely demise. It stands as a testament to the adage that those who forget their past are doomed to repeat it. The cries of the past still echo in Shaniwarwada fort. Our number three spot goes to Dow Hill in Kusiong, West Bengal. Nestled amidst the breathtaking beauty of the Himalayan foothills, this serene town holds a chilling secret that sends shivers down the spine of even the bravest souls. The Victoria Boys High School, a seemingly ordinary educational institution during the day, transforms into a playground for the supernatural when winter descends. As snow blankets the town, eerie tales begin to unfold within the school's corridors and classrooms. The most infamous among these is the account of the Headless Ghost, a spectral figure that has become a terrifying legend in the region. According to local law, the apparition of a headless boy has been sighted wandering the school's corridors, particularly during the winter months when the school is closed for holidays. The chilling sight of this spectral figure aimlessly roaming the darkened hallways has been reported by various locals and visitors alike. Many believe that this headless entity is a restless spirit, unable to find peace in the afterlife. His tragic tale and the chilling encounters related to him have added an eerie layer to the otherwise tranquil landscape of Kursiong. Dao Hill, a place where the beauty of nature intertwines with the supernatural, where the corridors of a school may hold more than just memories. A place that, despite its spectral resident, continues to captivate and intrigue those who dare to delve into the mysteries of the unknown. Coming in at number two is the eerie Kuldhara in Rajasthan. A place that whispers tales of the unknown, Kuldhara was once a bustling village near Jaisalma, but is now an abandoned ghost town. Legend tells us of a sudden mysterious exodus that happened over 200 years ago when every single villager disappeared overnight, leaving behind nothing but their homes and a chilling atmosphere. What led to this mass disappearance, you ask? Stories suggest that it was a curse cast upon the village by its inhabitants themselves as they fled from the oppressive rule of a cruel minister. The villagers swore that nobody would ever be able to settle in Kuldhara again, and it seems like their curse has held true. Today, the deserted crumbling houses stand as silent witnesses to a past that's both fascinating and unnerving. Those who've dared to visit the village report a feeling of being watched, of whispers in the wind, of an unease that settles deep within. Some even claim to have experienced paranormal activities heightening the sense of mystery that surrounds Kuldara. The village may be devoid of human life, but it's certainly not empty. Each broken wall, each deserted street, each silent corner seems to hold a story, a secret, a whisper from the past. Kuldara, a village frozen in time and mystery. And finally, at number one, we have Bridgeraj Bawan Palace in Paratpur, Rajasthan. This grandiose palace, now a heritage hotel, is steeped in history and chilling tales of the supernatural. Its most famous phantom resident is none other than Major Burton, a British officer who met a tragic end during the Sepoy Mutiny of 1857. The tale goes that Major Burton was killed inside the palace, and since then, his spirit has refused to leave. Instead, he wanders the corridors and rooms, ensuring that order is maintained. Guests and staff alike have reported encounters with the ghostly officer. Disrespect the palace rules, and you may just come face to face with Major Burton himself. The experiences reported by guests go beyond mere sightings. Some have recounted feeling an unsettling chill. Others complain of an unshakable feeling of being watched. There are even instances of Major Burton's apparition appearing in photographs, his stern gaze seemingly frozen in time. These eerie encounters have earned Bridgeraj Bhawan Palace the title of the most haunted place in India. But it's not just about the scares. This palace is a fascinating blend of history and mystery, a place where the past refuses to rest, where each corner holds a tale, and every shadow might just be a spectre from another era. Bridgeraj Bhawan Palace, the most haunted place in India, where history never truly dies. From ghostly apparitions to mysterious phenomena, these places hold stories that defy explanation. 
We've journeyed through the eerie corridors of India's most haunted destinations, from the cursed Bangar Fort in Rajasthan, the whispering shores of Dumas Beach in Gujarat, to the haunting cries within Shaniwawada Fort in Maharashtra. We've explored the chilling mystery of Savoy Hotel in Uttarakhand and the abandoned village of Kuldhara. We've met the spirits of Major Burton at Bridgeraj Bhavan Palace and Bridgeraj Bhavan Palace and witnessed the inexplicable phenomena of Jatinga in Assam. These tales of the paranormal challenge our understanding of the world, making us question the boundary between the living and the dead. Do you believe in ghosts now? Until next time, keep exploring the unexplained.